Hey YouTube, I'm gonna make a video right quick, right quick. This time, I'm gonna just use grams. I did notice that when I bought these Engelhard bars, each one of them, all these four, besides this large one, that one's got a small E, that one has MC beneath it. That one's a large E, Engelhard, and of course, just says Engelhard. Well, and then also, from watching Baby Stacker's video, I've got me my own little panda. Kind of made me question if this one was for real, from what he went through. Let's see. Well, that looks good. Next, I guess that one's alright, should read 31.1 .1, but of course you move a decimal point for 10 ounces over an ounce. Next, okay, next in line, alright. Come on, sister. Okay. Um. All right. Here comes another thirty-one point one five holds. Okay, good. Now, the Libertad's. One thing I gotta notice on this one, this one's got some writing on the bottom, on the side of it. I didn't. I know what it says, but I just can't think off the top of my head of what it says. That one was a uh, 1984. Since the 1983, that one has writing on the on the on the reeded edge would be. This one's a 1990, but it has a rigid edge. Alright, all of them I'll check out. One other little bar I want to check to see if my scale is doing alright. Is this little dude. 5 gram bar, let's see. 5.1, let me try that one more time. Other times I've weighed it, it's exactly 5. And it also read that too. Darn it, making a liar out of me. Let me just quickly. There we go. Alright, YouTube. I'll see you on another video. I'm going to do, um, can you trust the, no, what was it? Can you trust the, um, metal detector test? That one should be a little interesting. Have a good one.